Millennial to me means just a group of people that have adopted technology all of their lives. We are rapidly changing. Because of that, I think it allows us to be a lot more innovative. I was actually born in Washington, D.C. My mom was actually homeless at one point while pregnant with me, so she moved in with her sister, who at the time was enrolled at the University of Maryland College Park in computer science. She was pretty much the reason why I got my start in tech. I started coding when I was 13, took AP Computer Science in high school, and was fortunate to get an engineering degree from Stanford. I spent five and a half years at Microsoft. I really didn't see the growth potential for me there, and I had the entrepreneurial itch. So going to business school that focused on entrepreneurship was kind of the next step for me to make that leap. I went on to get an MBA from MIT, and since then I've been full-time startup entrepreneur. I started by going to career fairs of conferences that focused on women and minority engineers. So Society of Women Engineers, National Society of Black Engineers, Society of Hispanic Professional Engineers. Blendor is a recruiting application that hides candidate name and photo to mitigate unconscious bias in hiring. Blendor actually came about uh, the summer after many of the Silicon Valley tech companies released their diversity numbers and the claim they couldn't find enough qualified women and people of color to fill these roles. Many companies realized that they were having a major diversity hiring problem because their traditional recruiting methods weren't working. So the app is super simple. Uh, you can log on via Facebook or LinkedIn. We pull in all of your data and ask you a few additional questions and then immediately show you a job relevant to your profile. You swipe right if you like it and you swipe left if you don't. The most challenging part about starting a company for me has been fundraising. Because it's the least meritocratic experience I've ever gone through. It's very relationship-based, how much an investor sees themselves in you. Many times the investors that I speak with have never even been pitched by someone like me. When people think of the tech industry, I think the most common misconceptions is that it's only for nerdy white guys in hoodies and flip-flops. I think African Americans don't gravitate towards the tech industry because they don't see people like them being successful. But if there are more examples of that, I think you'll see a significant growth. In five years, I see Blendor expanding to become the de facto recruiting tool. There's no reason why your name, your photo, your race, your gender should be used in consideration when you're being judged for a role. Uh, so I want this to completely disrupt the way that we find talent. Advice I would give to other millennials that want to follow their dreams would be to don't doubt yourself and your capabilities. You are your biggest enemy when it comes to just getting started. We're raised in this culture of startups and technology and seeing small companies turn into unicorns. We want that.